All right, so this will be the Sonics versus Space Station game on Border. So starting off with the ban phase, Space Station begins by banning the. Oh, so I think yeah, space, I think Orange teams are banned second. Yeah, so well first, but Space Station bans uh Capital, and Capital is he's a great utility operator. He also can be very useful on border for if somebody's in the bunker area, you can burn them out. Uh, you can go up to the balcony area of the archives and you can shoot you can shoot through the window, through the wall, and hit the mirror window inside of closet if you want to. You can you can go from above or below, open up a kill hole and burn stuff. You get the smoke grenades, you have a claymore. So overall, he's a very strong operator. So if you have to kind of anchor in positions then Capital, you want to ban so that you can't you don't just get burned out and buck is banned from sonics so <laughs> this is a little this is a little curious about mainly because it, this is border buck is a very good operator here so i'm not sure exactly about the ban because it's not like without buck you can't play vertically so I'm not sure if maybe it's just a, something as simple as Sonics. They didn't have Buck in the in their overall strategy here, and so they said, "Well, we're not going to use Buck, so let's ban Space Station from using him, and that way, that way he can't really be used against us." So that'd be my only guess. I'm really uncertain exactly why he was banned because he his uh there's always a way to get people out of positions one way or another it could be anything from going underneath with a jackal shotgun like how joystick sometimes does on coastline or or you take a zofia or an ash and you use the gadget below or even above if you're attacking a you're trying to if you if the objective is below and you can go above you can just bring sledge so the buck ban is a little a little curious. Uh, then Mirror gets banned. I mean, most teams don't even run Mirror at this point because they they don't scrim with Mirror because she's usually banned in those. So when coming to Pro League, it's just one of those instant bans. Then the the more curious thing is that instead of an Echo ban, Maestro is being banned from Space Station. So Echo's in play, and we'll have to see how he's used. And yeah, really, that's all I can say about it because it we aren't sure how he's going to be used. He's so rarely used now because he's always banned that most it's it's interesting seeing just how he's used. Last season he. Anyway, with that, we move on to the actual game. If it wants to load, there we go. So Sonics on attack, they're bringing out Lion. <coughs> so Lion is Lion. He is a very st he's a very strong and stupid operator, and due to the yeah he's a really strong and stupid operator. I most people hate him, and he yes he got nerfed technically so they took away his outline. However, he's still a ridiculously stupid operator. He still serves the same purpose he did originally where. If you move, you get pinged. Your position gives goes away, and that's free information. So you can use him to either help help uh, hunt down roamers. You can use him to uh, instead of, if you get a kill, you can use his ability to stop the the chance of a refrag. And really, it's just you get a you press a button and you do stuff. And it's really he's a stupid operator, but very strong. And by stupid, I don't mean as in it's a stupid pick or it's a it's bad to go him. I'm saying that it's a stupid operator that should never have been added to the game. But, you know, the developers and stuff. Anyway, then Neptunes, Neptunes is on IQ. So Valkyrie is in play and Echo is also in play. So it makes sense to bring in IQ. <coughs> as well as so much of this map is destructible that you can go above or below and you can get rid of a lot of gadgets. So, I mean, of the all of Space Station, you have the Jaegers, you have the, you have Rampy's uh, Mozzie, little spider drones, you have the Valkyrie cameras, and you have Legions. All of those can be seen with her gadgets. So, makes sense. Then Ghost is on Zofia. It's Zofia, she brings a lot of utility. 
She has a good gun, brings a claymore. I mean, really, it's a lot of soft destruction. That's her main thing. So with Buck not being in play, Zofia can do her job if you are attacking, attacking the bomb site below and can somewhat do a job if you're attacking above. Then Avian is on Thatcher. Uh, Kate is in play, so makes some sense. Then if you don't want to deal with a bandit, well, you, do, you basically don't want to have to expose yourself to a, try and kill a mute jammer, a Cade, or a bandit charge on the armory wall, so you just run Thatcher. Then Goddess is on Hibana. Normally I see her on Thermite, but either one works. You just need to have one of them. Then Space Station. <coughs> now the one thing about Sonic, though, is one of the interesting things is this lineup doesn't have much pushing power when it comes to taking out someone in a uh, in a fortified position like Bunker. So if I remember correctly, that's what Sonic's really struggled with on the attack, and it really does it really did hurt them. I think they may have been expecting to be able to run Capital, and without him, it just hurts. But anyway, we move on to the space station lineup. So Jaeger, because grenades can come out, so you don't want to get... If you have to hard hold positions, you need to make sure that you have access to nades. Uh, Rampy is on Mozzie. Mozzie is a mute Valkyrie hybrid where you can either stop drones or gain information. So, yeah, I mean, really, it's just he's, an in, he's a mute Valkyrie hybrid. Not as good at either one's job. He's not as good at being a mute as mute is, and he's not as good as being a Valkyrie and getting information as Valkyrie is. However, overall, he is a good split in between them and is a useful operator. Then Chal is on Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Well, you get these three little cams, and guess what those cameras let you do? You can see stuff without having to peek. Yeah. Anyway, then smoke. Then Fultz is on smoke. It's a smoke. You need the shotgun to open up around. You need the ability to open up holes. You need the ability to smoke to just waste time. So, I mean, it's a smoke. You... Then boss goes on lesion. Throw down a lesion mine. You now can figure out, well, are they pushing from here? Are they not pushing from here? If I throw one down the stairs, well, if it doesn't get activated, activated that means it's not coming from stairs. And it's just a, he's a utility operator. TV, well, right. information one. You have control CCTV. Not really, you I'd say utility, more just information the, uh, ones. Yep. Anyway, CCTV Rooms locked down. it is a workshop defense yeah, coming I mean, out now. Impact the wall by 90, but and three yeah, people are in customs. Okay. Their flank, so it's, they're not going to do that. Yeah, it's about the same as just running into the... Be held. Rooms locked down. Alright, yeah, so. I need my pen. There we go. So with this, reinforcement on this wall and this wall. So those are really the two main walls that you reinforce. And this one's kind of an optional secondary one. I've never seen it used too effectively opening it up. This one I have because with this open, this doorway, and these walls soft, since you can't, you can't really ever invest the utility to reinforce them you can clear out most of the a bomb site around this area so really it just comes down to i mean really it's just you either have to invest rein, you either have to invest too many reinforcements trying to reinforce all the walls or you just reinforce the base reinforcements and then play around it and the way it's played around is you hold above so that if the so the enemy has to either they either have to fight you or they have to uh yeah either fight you or they have to try to ignore you at which point you can gun them down from above so normally it's a it's you fight then rotate hole in bathroom it's always there but really once the rotate hole is there these two reinforcements that's really the that's the site setup in all honesty because you it's not you can't effectively hold inside of b just because of both the window and the doorways so due to that you can't hold inside of b <coughs> peeking this doorway is stupid because 
it's you have a lot of angles from outside over there which can cause so peeking here it's you peek are they on the right side left side are they repelling are they bat are they laying down you just have to react to all of that information while they just have to hold an angle so you can't actively peek this doorway so really you can't play inside of b and a good chunk of a you can't play inside of so there's no point in really reinforcing it for a terrible strategy if you can't effectively play inside of the area it's not like um uh, it's not like clubhouse where we're on the basement you can invest all your reinforcements for downstairs because you have places you can sit here there's nowhere really to sit every single area inside of this bomb site can be shot from above and due to that you have to hold above i mean they can impact then, the wall by 90 but with that not going that's, to that's, that's gonna... i see rampy is reinforcing these walls uh I'm not too sure about the purpose of that it's maybe it's to well really i don't know it well there's a few things the first is that either <coughs> the first is it stops any soft destruction from entering through here and due to that if you i've seen uh i think it was canto ricchetti from g2 he would sledge his way through this wall and then enter like this so you can't you now can no longer do that because of this reinforcement and with goddess being on a hibana you aren't going to invest two of your 3x kairos trying to open a rotate hole to get there then the other part the other reason it could be used is to stop uh well, no. it could be used because you want to play people around the customs area and so by having this reinforced it stops someone just from opening this up and then holding an angle all the way there because a lot of times people try and plant by the desk of B around here, and you can get an angle on that from this window. So you may, as a defender, you may want to, and you may want to put reinforcements here, in order to allow yourself to run late round to open that window and then gun down the table, if the plant is going there, which is most likely the reason why that's happening. They're not going to do that. Yeah, it's about the same as just running into the air. Then. Reinforcement here. That's off that angle. That's really yeah, it. Practically. Yeah, pretty much. That's the only reason I've seen that angle All used. Right, well, so. Uh, to start with. Yeah, you know, the lion's still good though. I mean, we oh, can't yeah. refute that. Uh, and vents to start with is quite interesting, like you say. Um, All the reinforces has... above. Nothing well, surprising well. there. If you want to, really, this just tells me that they want to be able to rotate around customs without too much trouble. And that, that's really it. Then army wall is reinforced. If you're holding. If you're holding ventilation you'll want to hold above and if you're holding above i mean i've seen a total of i think one two i think six reinforcements have been used so far so eight nine go there wait i said six reinforcements then went eight nine i am dumb seven eight go there then you have two more probably going on this well, wall over here in, inside of the office yeah, for, for good reason it's, but it, it surprises me even more because the, again the bands favor half <coughs> with no so yeah okay so one thing is that if you spawn here as an attacker in your games people go to armory first for good reason you have to be so never go and just instantly look at this camera one because runouts can come from there now yes it's technically reinforced and most likely the sonics know that so goddess doesn't care about it i mean you shouldn't however some people still run out from over here and yes you get detected however if you're aiming up here and you now see enemy detected outside well are they running out from here are they on the balcony where are they so you may hesitate a little bit and this that would allow this person to gun you down so if you know this is clear then just hold an angle here for three or four seconds waiting for a run out because if you I mean you kill three or four seconds, but you don't risk actually dying to a run out. But it, it surprised me even more because the, again the bands favor half wall. With no buck and no capital, it's a lot harder to take out people behind half wall in terms of utility wise. I mean there's still plenty of ways to do things to them, but again, no grenades in play either outside of the Zofia's lifeline, so yeah, half wall would have been pretty safe. Well, I mean, so the purpose of that claymore 
Actually, I is don't, to don't stop know. runouts on the west. Well, it's to stop runouts coming out of the window and onto the west side. So if you're repelling on the west side trying to take armory or security CCTV, then you won't have to worry about a run out from there. We are where we are right now. Ghost going to try and take control of Passport, or at least open up the door, though. Imagine he's going to go for the push if he actually opens the door. Usually that's what you follow up with. So basic, uh, basic security push comes out. In most On most sites, you really want to just push security each time because it's... It's hard to hold inside of there as a defender, and it's yeah, it's hard to hold inside of there as a defender, and you can't invest so many bodies in there to hold it effectively. That I mean, at most you can invest two bodies. At, so if you yeah, so as an attacker, if you can take out those two bodies, it's a five v three at best, and most of the time you can if you have a decent attack strategy For and team coordination. So Just waiting. But the main reason is you can actually, uh, main reason is you can, <coughs> you can, in, from security, you can go wherever you want on the map and start taking more and more control with an area to pivot off of. I'm not really and sure it's very easy to hold no, because you just have to, take, basically you just have to hold a single angle. And it, it like, yeah, really that's it. It's easy to hold, it's easy to take, and so it's normally a good good place to start an attack yeah, and droning from below so super is droning below in order to looking for any and i think he's looking for bodies but more specifically anybody with a nitro cell but if you enter the if you enter security you're not gonna get nitro cell and then also he's now opening up here in order to make sure that the in order to make sure that nobody is playing inside of here so that when they go for a push they don't have to worry about it. then one thing is ghost i see is outside of the i see ghost is outside of the wall on the west here however he was over by passport on the south and opened it up but i'm wondering why he's over here now if he was there because he shot open a door as if he wanted to go in there but then decided not to so i'm wondering why he didn't just spawn over on the west side and instead of killing a minute it take 20 seconds to get to the site and then have another 40 to do whatever. They do have thinking, I believe it is, contesting armory by half wall. The armory wall was just opened up there by the Humana, though, so. Things are going smoothly for Sonic so far. Just slowly. I don't yeah, understand why there's an impact there. I really don't. Because uh, I think that's an impact. No, no, I was wrong. Armory wall not opened up. So not so smooth here. Yeah, for Sonic. Maybe the. Um, Maybe the Hibana tried to ex-Kairos it, and that's when the uh, the impact came out. That'd be my only thought process. And Kickstar right now is talking about how he, th I think he thought that army wall got opened up, but apparently not. So maybe he heard, and I'm, I have very low volume on, but maybe the maybe he heard the ex-Kairos being being used and thought they were on the army wall when they were on the instead on that hatch a few x kairos to do that i mean it's not the end of the world as long as you get a line of sight on the half wall you can uh, pressure half out from two angles now, here's the thing okay they have okay yeah so they're impact tricking this to, you know get custom control so that they and now twice in a row the the hibana x kairos have been wasted i mean really that's all i can say they've been wasted because it took two of them and the hatch still isn't open, so that is just a bad usage of utility, and it, it, yeah, that's just a bad waste, waste of utility. Now there's one X Kairos left, and it can only be used, and you have to open up Armory Wall, but you also have to open up the hatch. So it seems like a mistake to me. Well, at least half wall control. So that's the next step. Here comes Sonics. Space Station still holding onto Armory. So I think all three X Kairos have been used, and a Fault kills Ghost. Which, okay, I don't understand how a smoke kills a Zofia. One, because why, where is the smoke playing that he can actively, that he's taking almost the entry fragger of Sonic's. Now, Ghost isn't actually the entry fragger. I think Neptune's is. But Ghost is kind of a, on the attack, I think he's more of a fragging role. And on, this, on the uh, defense, he's more of a support role. But I don't see why... Go should be getting killed by a by a smoke. Yeah. Volts, a nice guy. 
And okay. Well, it looks like it was a run out. But. It's half wall control. So that's the next step. Here comes the Sonics. Space Station still holding onto Army fast. The ghost is here. Then gets gunned down. Okay. I don't know why, you two so, have just been weird. Well, but you see Ghost is over here. Control. He has a Claymore. Here comes the Sonics. Space Station still holding onto Army fast. And he's... He's holding an angle onto the Customs, so I'm not sure how he gets Ooh. killed here. Fult. And then Fultz then jumps the window to get back, so nice kill get back into sight. So I don't see how that happens. Utility already, but that's a great kill before rotating back. A little bit risky for a smoke to be doing, but yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I don't understand how that happens. So, to me, this just seems like bad utility usage because the so two X Kairos were used for nearly nothing. Well, no, literally, literally for nothing. Then instead of just bringing a person with breaching charges and or just bringing the Zofia and use one of her one of her explosive charges to open up another angle inside of security to watch the impact trick because that impact trick can only really come from one place and if you had you take out that angle then you're good so i don't so it seems to me that's weird that they're just saying okay we tried to take above to clear up below but we couldn't do that so now we're just going to send in someone below and they get gunned by smoke and nobody's watching our rotation and due to that, he gets out scot-free. I mean, <coughs> the smoke literally jumped out of the... Uh, he jumped out of that small window to go run back into sight. When that's an, ang that's an angle that a lot of people will be watching. It's certainly risky, but, it but nobody out, was, so... There you go. And now, Space Station, a little bit of two minutes in, and enemy. Sonics has stalled out. They have barely even attacked the armory wall yet due to caring about below more than they care about armory. They, well, they care more about customs than they do about the armory, even though they have to take armory in order to get a plant down. Because if you can't take customs, then you can still plant. It's just going to be harder, and you have to know about the angles you're exposed to. Then with the, uh, then you also have the option of, instead of planting inside of the B-bomb, go and rotate over to workshop. And then you can plant there, so long as you have top-down control. So you don't always need to take customs here. Coming out on top. SSGs still have control of armory, and it doesn't seem like Sonics are really... I mean... The Sonics have just stalled out. It's a... Overall, yeah, it's... A I, to me, this looks almost like the Sonics were expecting something else, and they're not getting it, and it's not working because of that. For armory at so Smoke comes out, Neptune tries to push in, gets gunned down because he's he can't see anything he's getting smoked they have no way of taking out well actually no they do have a way of taking out this jaeger if you go below you can actually go outside of the window down outside the ventilation window and if you lay down you could take the zofia or ash or whatever and you can just shoot up and you will <coughs> you use that utility and you can clear out the majority of this bunker area now you're not going to clear out everything but then you could also theoretically just bring a Thatcher and a set of grenades and just Thatcher or burn all the ADSs and then just chunk some grenades and this Jaeger's dead. And they'll be punished thanks to the gas canisters and the great peak there from Thinking Nade. When you Super tries repel in, gets killed by Chala. And SSG are ready to receive you. It's just goddess now and there she goes. Space Station. Uh okay, so this, in, this is kind of the pushing power thing I'm talking about where... Sonics doesn't have any right now. They have no way of really applying pressure to the defense with this lineup. And they're relying on gunfights or people peeking them in order to get in order to open up in order to get opportunity. Then yeah, so really that's a, that's all that happened here. There was no pushing power and they couldn't open up a hatch because it was being impact tripped. And due to that, it was over. Really, that was just a really bad attack. I mean, the only the only room that 
the Sonics took right there was the room that was given to them and was not contested. It then took them another two and a half minutes just to try and take Armory. And I don't even know if they managed to get in. No, they got into Armory with Neptunes and then everybody else got gunned down. Renamed with anybody. Everything was looking good. Well, maybe that was SSG's doing right. Now, the thing is, I really don't like this. So I you know, let's actually move into the round. Uh, not to the old sick picks, but <laughs> I'm really not liking this lion because lion isn't meant for I don't think he's really meant for pushing power. He's instead meant to he's there to make people stand still. So that's great if you have other ways to it's great if you have ways of clearing out area with like grenades or something or if you're trying to roam clear, but if you're trying to actually push someone out Lion is not the lion is not the answer. Instead, it would be better to you could bring smokes so that if you're trying to attack A, you could smoke or just attack up here. You could smoke there and there, and then if the wall is open, you can then enter, and you have multiple angles on it. somebody playing in the bunker area. Then you could, or you could just bring grenades and just nade the fuck out of them, or you can go below and Zofia up or Ash up. And really, there's, or you can bring Ying. I mean, really, there's a good amount of options in Sonics. Is I don't know why they've elected this is the best lineup for them, but this, I I don't like this. I don't like this lion pick. I really don't. I think that because of the really with the lion and even possibly the Zofia, I think there are better options that can be chosen. I mean, mainly the thing is I just wish they brought nades. That's really it. If they just brought grenades, I would be happy. Now, they, now on to the next round. So, same lineup from Sonics. This is a mistake because if you just lost 5-1, I mean, if you were in a 1v5 situation, don't even get a single kill, and can take about two steps into the actual armory, armory room, there's a, there's a problem with your at overall attack strategy. And due to, and so I, did, I, I hate this lineup. I hate it because it's not changing. And due to having no pushing power, it is not. Nope, just having no pushing power is killing them. So what I really wish was they switched Goddess back onto Thermite. The reason for that is you can open up the wall a lot easier. And then also... In all honesty, Goddess is not a she's not a good fragger. She struggled in Challenger League, and yes, she's a support player. However, overall, I mean, it's it, she had something like a 0 0.5, 0 0.6 KD coming out throughout all of Challenger League. And yes, you're a support player, but that if you're struggling against Challenger League players, then when you go up against the Pro League players who are above those Challenger League players, you're going to do even worse. And Hibana is, she's an Ash, basically. She's an Ash whose utility is to open walls that are, is to provide destruction on the hard, on the reinforced walls instead of soft walls. After that, she's basically exactly the same as Ash, except instead of getting 31 bullets, you got 21 bullets, and they didn't take away your ACOG to try and balance you without realizing that the ACOG wasn't the actual issue. But, you know that? I mean, it really is what it is, but I wish that she switched to Thermite, because I think Thermite brings more to the team, and bringing Hibana, I mean, you don't, she doesn't have the fragging power to really utilize Hibana's fragging power to the best of its ability, so bring Thermite and utilize his utility to the best of its ability. And that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm hoping for. Then Space Station, they are now, they dropped the Valkyrie and have brought an Echo. <laughs> so, Echo's actually in play, which is strange, because normally he's banned. It's either, normally it's an Echo Mira ban. However, Echo's in play now. And it'll be interesting seeing how he's used. However, he really shouldn't be that viable. Because with the Sonics running a Thatcher and an IQ, it shouldn't, this Jaeger, I mean, this, uh, the Echo drone should not really be that available or that viable. Because if you, 
I mean, you know, with Neptune, so long as he uses his utility, he knows exactly where this, uh, where the Echo Jones are. Now, Chala could try to keep one in his pocket or so. However, it's not always the best to do that. It's not always the worst. But if he can, I think that it it's a risk to keep one in your pocket, but it's also a risk to bring them out. But if you, if they're, if the songs are going for the plant, and they're just watching for the Echo Drones, they throw the Thatchers to disable them, they should be able to get these Echo Drones pretty easily, and Chala, in all honesty, shouldn't be too much of a, shouldn't be too, uh, the Echo shouldn't be too viable, in my opinion. Then, Bandit's being brought. <coughs> so, it's a Bandit. You know what Bandit does. You know, he gets car batteries. Like, I mean, it, it is what it is. So the one the one thing is that Bandit actually has a good chance to be able to Bandit trick here. Because with no buck, the vertical pressure isn't there as much. And the Sonics really aren't even applying any vertical pressure as far as I'm aware. So he could actually Bandit trick. However, I doubt he will. In the last 30 seconds when your gas can... <laughs> Anyway, with that, thinking Nate is reinforcing the office wall. You can't even get to site. Like, yeah. actually, there's not time Wondering for that anymore. You're going to have to, like, try doing. and drop a hatch at best. And it's not, no, it's not going to happen. Bosco's yeah, reinforcing the army wall over here. But then you're gonna get a... Walls reinforced, yeah, walls reinforced. Just kill yourself at that point. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, right, so now here's some difference. Wall reinforced, rotate hole. So with that, this rotate hole basically makes the uh it makes an office take that much harder and because the because you can actively contest the office you can you can actively contest the office basically so as a def as an attacker you want to come through this wall you don't want to be coming through this window because you have to deal with somebody holding an angle like that you could also have to deal with somebody playing up here shooting through this window and I mean, jumping through a window, it's it's stagnant. You can't be moving left or right. You, your aim's not going to be as good. So it's easier just to... It's a lot easier just to try and walk through the wall. So, yeah, really, with... It's easier to walk through the wall. So this window, you really don't want to be jumping in through there. But because of this rotate hole, as an attacker, it's not as simple as, okay, we droned tier, nobody's playing here. Droned here or grenaded here. Nobody's playing there. Walls open, so nobody's gonna be playing around this area. So now, possibly somebody can be playing there. However, with the rotate hole, now if somebody plays here, well, as the attackers try and enter, they the defenders can come over here and establish a crossfire, kind of like that. So it gives the it gives the defenders a bit more flexibility and a bit more freedom when holding office. The problem with it, though is if the Sonics can establish a good flank watch kind of like that, then it can be a lot, it's, if you, uh, well, not even the flank watch, it's more that if you can, if you can effectively hold an angle on there and on the doorway, you really can't rotate back into office, and then the attackers don't even have to utilize their utility to go through this hole to go for a plant. Oh, I mean, like in the game, obviously. This wall is also reinforced. I mean, cuts off this angle. I know what you meant. I was just, right. I was poking you there, buddy. But no, uh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, overall, Holds shotgunned out parts of the floor around here and here. Um. Uh, Dock on it out there, so if you're playing below, you can literally just shoot them up if they try and plant this spot. And if they try and plant in this spot over here, well, it's not destructible of floor. However, you can throw a nitro cell through the floor, through the hole, and have it land roughly where they're planting. It's gonna, where the plant's gonna be. I mean, be. there were too many layers for Sonics to get past after they had established control of CCTV and they hadn't even started peeling yet. Yeah. Like, there, there was no progress made, essentially. On kill coming out from Maybe Chala. Just checking the monitors and CCTV, hoping to get something out of there. Nobody spawned over there. They just, they just, w it wasn't a very efficient take there. No. A spawn peak there from uh, Space Station. Now another security push. Making sure. 
Just checking. Now he knows it didn't spawn there. Yep, that's true. Well, Sonics, where are you gonna take control of now? Where's the first step for you on an arm retake? Last time it was CCTV. Yeah. It'll be here. Well, hopefully it's faster than last time because even if they were going for armory last time, they still wouldn't have much time to do it. Neptune's is okay. Uh, I think that's really interesting. Is the fact I don't like this. I really don't like this. So Neptune's is looking for Valkyrie cameras. Think about that. Neptune's is looking for Valkyrie cameras. Not Valkyrie. Not Valkyrie. Not Valkyrie. Also not Valkyrie. Pretty sure not a Valkyrie. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I mean, it, this has to be a Valkyrie. This has to be Valkyrie, right, guys? Because if these four aren't, then and then it means the fifth one must be because they're looking. He's looking for a Valkyrie camera, right? Well, it's not. And so that means that the drone game isn't there. So the Sonics, in all honesty, don't know what they're even attacking yet, because they don't even know if it's a Valkyrie or an Echo. So they could theoretically spend. <coughs> Two and a half minutes setting up for the push going for the push at 10 seconds thinking that oh it's a valkyrie not an echo and then this little this little invisible drones in the corner just going huh look at these dumbasses and they lose them because of that because this is just bad information it's bad dr now maybe the thought process is well they thought it was a valkyrie I mean, really, I don't even know because I I really don't know. Maybe they just didn't want to risk the drones. But there's a big difference between a Valkyrie and an Echo. So it the it is worrying is that a Neptune's is looking is, for a Valkyrie cameras. On every single site. Yeah. Also wouldn't have been. And I wanted to. Last oh. time it was CCTV. Yeah. It'll be now it looks to me like Hopefully Super is also looking for them, even if they were going for armory last which time, confuses me. And they also wouldn't have been successful. Yeah. I think that's really interesting is the fact that they're bringing a Habana yes. continuously. So maybe there was just a bad call out where somebody saw some feet and said, oh, those look like Valkyrie's feet. But really, it I don't know. I really don't. It's just a either a bad call just, or bad droning, like bad information like game. I've actually seen Thermite be a pretty common ban on border. Yeah, I don't if you know want to you... really deny breaches. Yeah, Thermite is a good ban on border. Yeah. Uh, and it's because he's he is definitely a better harvester. Pretty sure there's some client side every, stuff every going on there. Esports ready. Alright, this is a terrible Thatcher. Okay. There is a freaking this is electrified. If I'm if I'm holding or trying to ban a trick or just playing this wall. I want an ADS right about there because that stops people from bouncing grenades off of here and having them land. So I almost, I like having an ADS there. So by throwing this Thatcher grenade, it is a waste. It gets hit by an ADS there. Oh, that's ADS. Waste of Thatcher. So, so far we have seen Hibana not being able to use her utility effectively, and we have seen Thatcher not being able to use his utility as effectively. I guess he still gets it. However, that was a waste of a Thatcher. I mean, if it's it's a waste. It's there's no other word for it. Even like bathroom, for example. I actually took a second to like really think through it, but yeah, every every single site. EE1D goes off here, and it will be ineffectual as uh, nobody was. I have no idea what the purpose of that. I have no idea what the purpose of that was because if I'm looking back, I see three people outside the army wall slash security area. I'm not sure if anybody's below. I can't see anything. But nobody was following up. Okay. Three of them though. Now the Hibanas go off, so maybe it, the purpose of it was just to stop people from contesting the wall. However, I I don't I don't understand the purpose of it. I really don't. 
maybe i saw a drone coming in here so maybe it was a well check for bandit if not use if not use a lion to stop him from running around however if i'm if i know that your only defense to stop me from actually bandit tricking is a lion where i get pinged well if you're not gonna shoot me i'm just gonna you can know my position I'll give it to you. You can have wall hacks on me all day long because I'm, I'll am i protect the reinforced wall. You can drone me out. You can lie on me. You can dope be call me. You can jackal track me. I don't care. So long as you don't have an active way of killing me and I can do my job, then it doesn't matter how much information you have on me. It matters what you can do with that information. And so using the lion charge here to stop a bandit trick is, is dumb. There's another word for it. And I'm hoping maybe it was for a roam clear. However, I don't know if there's anybody even close to downstairs. So, so I, I don't see the purpose of the line so called there. What the E one Ds will be used for are either during a push or post plant or during a plant or something like yeah. that. But I'm guessing they just wanted to make sure they wouldn't be pushed for partic one particular transition that we didn't so see. Maybe they were I think I see four people just, outside of the armory no wall right now. No, no risk, it's not necessary. Yeah. So Are there actually four people outside of Armory Wall? I really hope not. Uh, now, one, that was not a... I don't think that was a good smoke canister. Well, okay, so it's arguable. Because with the... So maybe the space station with the Echo in play says, okay, smoke, we want you to use your gas canisters early so that they push at around the 20-second mark. And at that point... We have two echo drones in play and we can stop the plant however it's Just put it in the little i don't think that was really the best you i i think it would have been better if the smoke had waited but maybe it was just a bad call out then <laughs> the next thing is i don't see why space station doesn't have anybody playing inside of the bunker area because that bunker area is very strong and sonic's they didn't even they could they had no they have no way of contesting it like what are they gonna do they're gonna they're gonna what they're gonna lie on you so you have to stand still well i'm i'm gonna stand still in the same general area that i've been they're gonna scan you they're going to possibly go below and shoot a zofia charge up through the window possibly they've never done it so wouldn't say so for that they didn't do it for a push on they didn't do it for the last push, so why would they do it for this push? I think they're gonna throw their thatches at you. Well, I mean, I don't think they have any thatches anymore. They got they all got hit by the ADS. And then shoot some pellets at you. I mean really there's no I don't see why Space Station has nobody playing inside the bunker, because there's no way of getting really get, there's no way of getting killed there. So I don't I think it would be better to have yeah, someone inside a bunker like this Jaeger. Right However, the thought process could possibly be that uh, I'm trying to think what it would be. It's maybe with my my only thought process would be with the two players from below. Due to being below, they don't want if Space Station is worried that if they have somebody playing here, because Holtz is playing close with the shotgun, makes sense. Jaeger's then playing behind him, ready to contest anybody who tries to come up the, the metal stairs. So maybe the thought process there is to is that you don't want to play anyone inside a bunker because it would just cause it would just cause them to be a, a little too thin and they'd want to have ways to react to anything. That'd be my only thought process. Really effective way to deny the push into the doorway. He is out of them though with a minute left, so he's going to depend a bit more on his shotgun. And Wait, he's got one more. I thought he just used that one. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, that was pre-placed. Yeah. So okay, so he's got one more and he's just waiting. Uh, but yeah, they were very early gas yeah. canisters. I would agree with you. I mean, I guess if you have one more left, that's fine, considering how badly. So push coming in with the lion makes sense. Uh, ghost gets killed. Then avian's trying to enter through below, maybe to stop a nitro cell. Sonic's push last Not sure. At least get Neptune's refrags Foltz. Uh, it's a basic. Actually, wait, Foltz was okay. Foltz had moved back in the closet, so really, that's just uh, Ghost lost a gunfight. Neptune's refragged. Uh, 
I don't like that they're pushing with no smoke. It's really just they're entering a kill box that I think is going to hurt them in the long run. Neptunes wins another gunfight. Like bomb is going down. Uh, Avian no kills right, Thinking Nade. So, then Avian also kills Bosco, who is below. It's Avian having some massive plays right now. 20 seconds is Kala. not enough. I mean, it's a 1v4. He's probably not going to win this, but he's at least using his utility. Time for a lone yokai to deny this plant. So, or it's too much time, pardon. Oh. All right, now one thing is your diffuse planter just got hit by an echo. You probably want to find this damn thing and shoot it because it takes seven seconds to plant. And theoretically, if there's if one echo is alive, it's possible for there to be two echoes alive. And at that point, well, if you can stop, if if you have four charges in total, you can theoretically waste roughly four to five seconds of planting each. So you waste four to five seconds of planting each. At which point, let's just let's just lowball it so you can waste sixteen seconds. But yeah, so you can waste 16 seconds, which will leave, from this position, roughly two or so seconds. Now, the plant goes down, but really, it's just, you need to hunt down this drone. Now, and why Neptunes, I don't, Chala didn't move this, so Neptunes, not great utility usage, in my opinion, because if the, I mean, it... I don't see why the why the IQ can't use her gadget to stop Echo when Echo is a very strong operator. Because let's say if the Sonics took an extra extra ten seconds here to push, then it could be all be over. So it's it's not like the Sonics are saying, "Okay, guys, we're at the forty three second mark, push." No, it's they're getting ready for a plan. It doesn't matter the time so long as it's not zero. They're they're good to go so really it's i think it's just i think it's bad from the sonics that somehow the echo drone can echo the goddess twice and it's yes they uh like yes the plant goes down however that was kind of a mess mix that's kind of a fuck up from chala now he's not going to be able to stop this plant in all honesty he has one echo drone there's 20 seconds to plant it's not going to happen so <laughs> it i mean you can't chala's not going to win this however it's something that it's really this just shows the oversights of the sonics where i mean super i'm not sure about the line pick i don't like it so and I don't think his utility has really been useful for the team yet, because when it was used for the it was the first time it was used, it did nothing. The second time it was used, uh, Ghost ended up dying and then got refragged. So, well, having someone stand still doesn't mean they don't have a gun. And I don't think it. I don't even know if it gets three anymore. But that's all I've seen of the line. Then the IQ. Well, the Echo Drone's alive, and I don't think it was moving around, so why the Echo Drone is allowed to be in play, I don't understand. Then why the only person you have that can possibly play vertically is not playing vertically, I don't understand. Then Thatcher's throwing his EMPs into Jaegers, and the Hibana can't open hatches. So, to me it seems like the Sonics aren't really using their utility to the best of their ability. Anyway, oh, this is over. Down there and Chala now will have to retake on four attackers. Not an easy feat. One at the top of metal, one playing the long angle by CCTV door repel, and Neptunes in small office gets his third kill. But I think this match Sonics. is basically nice can Neptunes frag? And if the answer is yes, they win the round. I really dislike this lion pick. I think it's doing nothing for the team. Still wasn't the worst. It, it was almost able to get it. He just. Uh, I want to say they're going to the same place, and I think this is the now same lineup coming from Space Station. Space Station. Gonna need to work some. Well, yeah. I mean, they don't want to go. They don't want to go. 
man on the Maestro. Now we're customs were bad. I'm still gonna go here. The IQ has been brought every round by the Sonics to counter the Yokai drones from Echo. Still wasn't the worst. Roughly the same setup. I'm not sure the point of the Jaeger device. And the funny thing is the Jaeger isn't even needed here because grenades just aren't being used by the Sonics. I'm guessing he didn't expect it to still be alive, to be honest. Yeah, and he, I think he was a little concerned about getting flanked right at that moment. Yeah, so it happens. And then Goddess so is now. on the... Oh, he couldn't get it quite on. Goddess is on the... What is it? The Thermite. Okay, right, so this Jaeger is... I mean, not the... This Echo Drone. I'm curious about it because... Possibly, it could... It could possibly have not been... It could possibly... Oh, God. It could be possible that there's not an angle for the attackers to get on that Echo Drone when they're pushing, and they may know of it, but they may say that, well, we can't get an angle on it, so we can't really deal with it. However, at that point, I still wish they had somebody who could shoot the damn thing when it came to Echo stuff. So... Place to hide it? Yep. Save it for later. It'd be harder for the IQ to shoot it there. Yeah. And look at What? Okay, did he accidentally drive it outside? Um, somehow like over that vent top oh okay i think that i think chala got the um uh, i think chala just got the drone to a place switched to a camera instantly as it was being destroyed so it looked like it was his yokai that was destroyed now he is carrying one in his pocket now, now maybe not the best. and then this shield here is so that the person on the balcony over in that area can't actually shoot it will it lets you play safely here to shoot around that balcony area. Now, the angle still exists, however, it's not. Spot you are somewhat protected. I'm guessing, yeah, maybe he bumped one of the rails and then bumped his yokai too high and the map perceived it. Yeah, yeah, one of those ones where, like, where, like uh, when, you, when you spawn street in Oregon, you can, like, throw stuff kind of into a weird abyss right by the wall. But that wouldn't make any sense because if you go outside with your... It would have had to perceive delay, it as yeah. outside of the map. Not so outside of the yeah. building, but outside of the map. Yeah, very, very true. I think he just switched to a... Cause, cause if it I really think he just switched his... Been, um, switched to a camera exactly as it was destroyed. Uh, it would have been get your drone back inside. Darn it. Darn it. So firm. Um, and one goes down. Okay, so a really weird... Really weird. Anyway, there's one yokai. He's got another. I actually... We don't even know if it technically was destroyed. It could have been a spectator bug. Yeah, uh, very, very true. But we'll see, as they are at least using one Lion E, one D now to help okay. position. I think the Lion is existing to stop anybody from playing aggressively on the uh, Thermite as she's getting her plant down. And I question that because if if I know that you're going to be, that you play aggressively and you may want to do runouts on my Thermite, well... I'll just say, okay, Thermite, go do your thing. I'm going to shoot this person. And I'm just going to hold angles. Now, it could possibly be that Rampy was playing a little bit aggressive, and that's why it came out, because he is at he is at about 75 HP, 80 HP. I want to see if I can get an angle. No, nope. hold on. He's hurt here. Really weird. Anyway, hurt here. Would have been getting your drone back inside. Hurt here. Okay, so no, no, that's not the reason why. I think it's just for the thermite Maybe charge, at which point I mean, you could just have Neptunes hold this angle on the doorway. You don't need the... I, I think this lion pick is literally useless at this point. It I really am hating it. There's a different... So lion isn't just a push a button and win. It's a push a button and win if you have... if you are backing it up with the right utility. For example, if you are smoking and planting and force the enemy to move, and you can then stop that movement or get get their in, get their lo their exact positioning, that is when lion becomes strong. This looks like a silver lion that spawns in and presses four, or whatever your gadget button is, because it, it it's being useless. I I hate this lion pick. I really wish he was still just banned from Pro League, but you know, okay. Reasons. Is the other one, but yeah, you could see it by the vent right now. Well, that's good. Thanks to Neptune on his gadget. Yeah, spotting it for us. Yep. And uh, the call will come out. Sonic will be aware. Ooh. So Thatcher. Okay. 
I want to watch this for a second. Good. Thanks to Neptune. On his so roughly the same position, <laughs> roughly the same yep. position. And, uh, the call will come out. Sonic will be aware. It Okay, I don't understand how Avian manages to fuck up that throw, but he does. And that's, I think, the third wasted Thatcher I've seen. Either second or third. Either way, it's still not good utility usage. And now, here's, the, here's the same thing that's happened. The Sonics have managed to open up the wall, but have not managed in any form or way to actually begin to push because they have no they have nothing to push with there's no way for them to <coughs> there's no way for them to do anything really and it, it i think that's why they're struggling so much here it's not that they're like the overall like team chemistry to like open the wall and stuff is is there yes however they have nothing to push with and i think if they could just get i think if they just could just switch super from a lion onto someone else that was just smokes really just a monty in all honesty i think that would help them tremendously monty uh gridlock as gridlock isn't playing now and gridlock could be amazing in my opinion because you can smoke and then you can get post plant you can get some post plant uh trap things set up so i really I think this lion is hurting them. I think this lion is hurting the Sonics. I think I really think Space Station is benefiting from this lion, not the Sonics. It's kind of like if you had a if you have a mirror on your team that doesn't know any mirror setups and just puts them in the in the worst spots possible, and now your team has to deal with really bad mirror windows, which the attackers can use against you. And really, Space Station, what they're getting out of this is the Sonics aren't bringing a utility, a fifth utility operator. They're bringing four. They're bringing four operators and a gun. And that's what I'm seeing. I mean, legitimately, I think that if the Sonics had a recruit right now, it could probably do more. Because you get, you can get grenades, a shot, grenades, and smokes. And. The Sonics need grenades and smokes at this point, so it's like imagine if the so imagine if the Sonics in this situation they looked at so we know somebody's playing here as a defender, so imagine if you could EMP right here, destroy any tha any Jaeger device there. Zofia opened the wall roughly right here. Throw a nade, bounce it off the wall, and have it land on the smoke. I mean, that makes sense, right? So it, I mean, it. That's kind of the. Like, I I don't understand why that's things like that aren't happening. It's, I mean, legitimately, I I feel like a recruit could honestly be better than this lion at this point the last minute that's when he's going to begin his pacing so if you do last minute with the smoke you're going to have some intervals where there is no smoke up you know 15 seconds here and there where there's nothing to hold the enemy at bay and i'm sure that he's accounted for that and he's ready ee1d the second one ineffective okay so intervals where there is no smoke up you know 15 seconds here and there so if your charge comes out to kill barbed wire which basically tells space well at least it makes space station and a lion comes out which makes space station think okay plants coming Where down there's nothing to hold the enemy now, at bay ghost is really fucking lucky here because he almost a little bit better crosshair placement well not even better crosshair placement because you can't have perfect crosshair placement always so if one bullet hit the head there ghost is dead well there go now man disadvantage and you have to deal with that. Really accounted for that and he's ready. E one D, the second one ineffective. But the peak from Rampy no, is Ghost does kill a Rampy. Opening here, and Shala will also nothing to hold the enemy at bay. And I'm sure that he's accounted for that and he's ready. E one D, the second one. Okay, so this is a bad position from Rampy because he has no real cover. So yes, you technically have this wall. However, you uh, to get into there, 
you're not it's very hard to get into there and rampy right now is due to that is struggling and if he had simply played this wall instead right here and had been leaning the other way there's a good chance he would have been able to actually kill someone here however due to the due to his positioning really he just gets killed i mean really that's all it comes down to but the peak from rampy is that position the sonic's an opening here and shala will also be down that means no yoke shala is down i have no idea how i want to actually see okay. and i'm sure that he's accounted for that and he's ready ee1d the second one ineffective but the peak from HP. the Sonic's an opening here, and Shala will also be the down. to the Thermite, I think, gets down. Now that's again. big, because that's the Echo. So, oh boy, is that was a bad peak from Shala. I mean, these Echo drones can be the these Echo drones are, can be the difference between a win and a loss very easily. Then, this is kind of a bad peak from Fultz. I kind of wish that he, uh, and the e -D him to stand I kind of wish that he had gone all in there, because he he had a good chance of killing Neptunes, would have been refragged from Super, I believe. However, he would at least have been able to get a kill on the board for Space Station, and that could be used to uh, kind of throw off uh, the Sonics a bit, where they now have to fit, they now have to get someone in position to actually assist this planter. Stand still. This is really bad from Fultz. And the plant goes down here. No one to deny it as Chala was on the floor. SSG now have to retake post plant. Goddess will take down Fultz inside of small as she knew he was there. Super easy holdout onto Bosco elsewhere and thinking they're trying to retake with a C4. But it so, Super ends up killing Bosco. Uh, so from what I remember reading, Super, his, jo his job on the team... Okay, so... I'm not sure he was the in-game leader. I'm not a hundred percent sure if he is anymore. However, due to uh here I'm trying to pull it, but I'm not sure how big of the role the in the in-game leader is because the uh I know that at least if I remember correctly, this was probably a month ago or so, I think I heard that that Fabian had said the role kind of has gone away where everybody's at the point where everyone's making callouts at least on G2 that it could be as something as simple as I see an opening so I'm going I know the strategy we're going for I know everyone's positioning I can make this call and everyone on G2 can make that call so I'm not sure if it's something like that for Sonics or if he is the strat caller but I do know that he as I remember I think he said Oh yeah, here we go. So uh, his his goal, at least I pulled up uh, Reddit, and this was literally from a day ago. He said he's basically he's the flank watcher now, and that's his goal. So it really that's it. He's he's there to watch flank drone people and do things like that. So that's where he's going to be getting his kills from. Now let's go back a little bit. SSG now have to retake. But really, this, but really, that's just so Super was watching the flank. Everybody else is kind of getting, doing their push, and so there isn't really too many. It's kind of it's pretty hard to retake on that. I don't remember what the hell I was going for in saying that. I really can't remember. And I'm tired. Anyway, back ten seconds. Really, this entire round just came down to Chala getting gunned, and I really. I really just want to see it was Charlie getting gunned, and it's not. I'm not saying that as in it's. It's kind of his fault for exposing himself in a and being in a bad position to go down. But, I mean, you bring Echo to stop the drum to stop the plant. Plant goes down. No echoes were used. Kind of kind of questionable. Post plant, Goddess will take down Fultz inside a small as she knew he was there. Super easy hold out onto Bosco elsewhere and thinking they tried to Super kills Bosco, he's holding the flank. Goddess gets another, and it's just thinking in a 1v5. Not gonna be a flaw. Thinking round, hits a nice shot. SSG can say that, but this is still fair and thinking they're trying to retake with a C4, but it won't land. Goddess gets another.
Now let's go with Chala. I have no idea where Chala was. Uh, one thing I'll say is I, I'm not the biggest fan of holding active angles at times. I think, especially on like a five, five v one. I mean, you're probably not gonna lose it, but if you are holding the, I think that if you're trying to just stop a diffuser, just hold passively, because it really the chances of this happening, but the chances of thinking nade being able to swing gun super then go a little bit further over gun goddess swing a little bit more gun neptunes probably not gonna happen however it's something that could so i think that playing a little bit passively in a plant is good not gonna be a flawless round at least so ssd can say that but this is still going to be a very hard retake for thinking Expects one in the corner. There isn't anyone there. Gets a second on a Neptune's pistol out. Goes for the third, and he misses the headshot onto Ghost. The Sonics. Oh no, it's Ghost over there. Who was Super then? Armory and oh, Super was probably inside of security. Right yeah, so I really don't like this lion. The players are still kind of. Okay, so lion, I hate it. I mean, seriously, I, I don't like it. I really, really wish that they had brought something for pushing and. I don't know what they're saying. It's something that has worked in scrims. Maybe they're expecting Space Station to do a more off-site hold. And due to that, the Sonics would be able to uh, they'd be able to capitalize on it. They'd be able to kill the, the roamers a lot easier. But Space Station isn't really roaming that much. Yes, they're off-site, but it's not really what I would call a roam. Because they're hard-holding areas. So... It's I've seen a lot of smart players. I don't like it. Over -peak it. I just don't like it. In, when they when they pop the E1D because you know they're gonna be a little overconfident. Maybe. So yeah, ventilation maybe defense command there. again. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna have the thing is it's the literally the exact same lineup as far as I'm aware. And it was obvious where like it was basically the easiest thing in the world for someone who was E one D. Yeah. And it stuck with you too for much longer. Now it's marks. So it's not the E one D, it's the PTSD. At this point. Um I don't know if I want to joke about PTSD, but yeah, it, it, something like that. They are they are definitely struggling with relearning, I think, how Lion is played. Yeah. It'll definitely be the case, though. I imagine over time they will get the hang of it. They will, yes. Okay, so Valkyrie's in play. No. All right, so Valkyrie and Bandit were dropped for a... No, Valkyrie, Bandit, and, Le and Mozzie were dropped for Legion. Wait, did I say Valkyrie was dropped? Echo was dropped. Basically, we're running a castle, a Valkyrie, and a Legion. This could be a free kill here for Neptunes. Ooh. And it's a little bit of damage done to thinking, but... Not too much, surprisingly. Yeah, as he switches to the... Well, I mean, that German uh, pistol is not great with the suppressor. Does yeah. very little damage, especially through those... Now, there's the vertical pressure that I... That I wanted from the first round. Uh, no. No, it's not. That's basically a sniper rifle in yeah. your pocket. It's so good. That definitely would have been useful. Which is probably the best because, of course, uh, with the ability to spot through things and having your pistol out as IQ, it's probably good that the pistol's not extremely good in that case. Especially for Pulse. Yeah. Well. Hey, Pulse? What? Also, one thing is when holding the B bomb site, you have to have kill holes above in order to kill anybody who's planting B because without them, as an attacker, you can literally just walk into B and plant. It is, it's actually, it, B is really, really weak. In all honesty, this entire map is, I think that if you can really master soft destruction and, and vertical play, this map is terrible. Because it, there's just so much that you can destroy, so many angles you can cut off, that it's, it just becomes, it can become impossible to do a retake. No, no, but he, he would get shot in the head often, sometimes oh, by, by that. that would be bad for Pulse. Okay, I got you. That's my bad. Sonic's now trying to attack onto ventilation again. This is actually the All second they opened. struggled the most, but it was interesting because they struggled with taking armory. <laughs> yeah, the so, one thing they've succeeded in. Right, they've been so good on taking armory elsewhere. Uh, you know, that was the first round. First round jitters, right? Yeah. Just getting warmed up. They they forgot to T-hunt first. Oh, the support players love. Let's well, see them holding so angles and throwing in people this. out. I mean, a little bit more efficient this time. They also had Habana instead of Thermite. And they well, I don't mean that. I'm, I'm not trying to be like sarcastic or anything. It's sport players are great. They're, I mean, there it is a really, it can be a hard job to do if you really don't know, if you can't play patiently or anything. So it's really important to 
have support people on your team and know how to play them. Switched over to Thermite. It's just kind of boring to watch. Back? Yeah, the Thermite. Okay, yeah, again, the. Th I don't know why the Habana over Thermite. Yeah. I mean, he, Thermite was not banned, and he's so good here on board. Yeah. Well, there hey, we what? Hold on. Yeah, the Thermite. Okay, yeah, again, the. Th I don't know why the Habana over Thermite. I mean, yeah. he, thermite was not. Oh yeah, I'm I'm okay. This was done by a breaching charge. So oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they've adjusted and it seems. I was. Work, so. I didn't see any yeah. breaching charges on Neptunes or Ghost on the first two rounds. I think, so I wasn't sure if they brought them this round. However, it's uh, yeah. So I I for, I thought that was honestly a thermite charge because I hadn't seen them and I was really confused at that. Good Sonics. Going to I'm sure assist their armory take as they. Try to push ventilation as site, but you know, you gotta take armor. So they know this guy's first. positioning, but what are they gonna, gonna do to actually in. kill him? Again, playing by half wall, something that he doesn't do. Okay, I really hate this positioning. Holy shit! If somebody swings here, Ghost is dead. I mean, if I, I don't, I don't get this positioning. I do not understand this. This is just. This is dumb positioning. If you want either either destroy this thing or sit right here waiting to destroy it, don't sit in the middle and ponder life when somebody can swing out and gun you down. When Space Station are actually defending Armory, but he does do if they're defending ventilation because reasons, right? Again, it's one of the safer spots you can be in just due to the operator bands, but no nades right now for sonics yeah they again they're, they're not bringing in like the thing is they've known this guy's positioning for like two minutes now and they still can't do anything to take him out dude they, they have no pushing power <laughs> like that's really it if they had the pushing power to actively fight i mean just the grenades thatcher with grenades uh the zofia you burn the ads's use the grenades then you I just want some I want some adaptation from Sonics that I'm not getting and it's they're relying on almost just fragging power at this point well, or mistakes he... from space station Diego stands still there so small office has a rotation my best guess is what happened there is the EE1D when it went down it makes the annoying noise which blocks out all other noise and due to that, Neptunes could walk in without any, with basically, and nobody could hear him. All it does, gets gunned down, loses the gunfight. That's all that happened. Neptunes that almost gets killed. Manages to make it out of small, alive and well, well, somewhat on low Ghost is still out. Oh, okay, hold on. I want to look at Ghost for a second. Rotation and Neptunes is going to go inside. He'll you know, once again get a kill on that push, and manages to make it out of small, alive. Well, hold on. Let me go back a bit more back. Okay, so it looks to me like the castle barricade was actually destroyed. Now, right? And next week we'll teach you how to take out your gun and shoot people. Well, no, seriously, this is. He's standing in the middle of the open with, with not even with his gun. Like, it, it, this is the freest kill for anyone on Space Station. I mean, if somebody ever... Think about this. If there was a camera outside, Chala could just hop on that cam right now and say, uh, yeah, so Zofia's at, like, the, at the west door. Uh, let's go peek her. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't have a gun right now. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's right. No gun. Yeah, yeah, no gun. Uh, how free? How how free is this kill? Well, it's like basically this is the freest kill you will ever get in your career. And like that, I, I I don't understand it. It's really just it, it, he doesn't even have his gun now. Yes, he's waiting for the push to start using his concussion mines. However, he's not safe. If somebody just wants to peek him, he's dead. Then, yeah, I, I just well, hate well, this. So I hate that he is just in the middle of the open with his gadget out. It's, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's something that should not happen. 
somewhat on low HP, thinking he had aware that he could be pushed at any moment. He's trying to hold the angle. Oh, what a shot from Neptunes! Neptunes peeks in. Sonics have control of the top floor now. Super on. And as this was happening, Super was pushing from, I believe, Customs. And he guns down Foltz. It's now 5v1. 4v1. Refrag. He knows that. That's why the impact comes out there to attempt to deny it. It's actually just a goo, pardon me. But it's going to be down. That's two for Bosco, though. Avian was planting, which is kind of curious because I think Goddess is the planter normally. So it doesn't really mean you can read into it, but I don't know. If he wants to have any hope of getting this round. Quietly, he maneuvers around his opponent. Though it sounds he's like he's been found out. And there you go. Ghost down. Ghost flees the gunfight. He only needs to find two more. Neptunes is on low HP. He's playing from above. He knows the advantage he has up there. One outside the window. Goo traps to try and give information the, about The Goo Mine's not going to do anything, but... going to be a stick, but Neptunes from above. A beautiful round. And the Sonics will take... And that's why you need to maintain top-down control if you want to... If you want to actually play the site, if you actually want to win the site, because you you can't defuse, you can't plant, you can't do anything. It's you need top-down control. Jeez, man. I mean, he just he just walks. I love how he jumps into small office with three people right there, and he just outfrags them. He yeah. straight up wins those fights. That was. And he did get punished a little bit in terms of health, but that didn't stop him from practicing. Well, I found because something that that kind of annoys me, and it's such it's so stupid that it annoys me. So we see the we see lions in the middle here. Now he's on the left. That actually annoys me more than I than it should. Anyway, three one. Sonics with no pushing power is winning due to the pushing power of Neptunes. Uh, Space Station, they have now dropped the, I can't remember who they dropped, but now they have Mozzie. Do that? And now, they Ventilation Workshop Defense coming out again. That kind of move to happen. He did get punished a little bit in terms of health, but that didn't stop him from fragging two more after. So, yep, good for him though, but we'll see if SSG can kind of pick it back up. However, this has been a surprising turn in terms of... Same defense coming out from Space Station. The Sonics have been playing after that Roughly first round. This is also, by the way, the most one-sided community vote of the day, and yeah. it was against Sonics. You know, things aren't over here for SSG, but these no. Sonics rounds have been looking pretty good. They're just prepping for the draw. They're setting yeah, up those initial rounds exactly for Sonics. That's probably exactly what it is, dude. That's, that is probably exactly what The joke here is that Space Station just draws everything, and they have a lot of draws. It is... It's actually kind of ridiculous how much they tie. It's what it is. Space Station are going to bounce back in the second half, and at that point, they're already. They're I wonder already whether or not like the Sonics are going Sonics to be doing like the five, same push they've uh, done for four rounds, times in a row. Space Station will suddenly bounce back. I wonder if they'll take leader. security like push first and put that Claymore yes. down. They have some pretty funny memes over there. Yeah, they're pretty good at that. Yeah. Well, Neptunes has been doing a great job on this IQ so far, and uh, he's going to just, yeah, keep pick, picking apart the uh, utility. All those electronics being dispatched with relative ease. Or, I mean, I say that as he attempts to get the <laughs> thing through the wall, whatever that is, goo trap probably. Well, at least there's the pests now he has to deal with as well. Oh, yeah. no, pests, pests I don't understand why Super powerful. just I mean, um, so those pests are so stared, for reasons, for mainly stared at Elysian, but he did. Like well, it's like there's a lot of and he didn't react, so I'm confused by that, but... You can get rid of them. Okay. And so they just still continues to deny a drone. Neptune's, Neptune's frags. Like, vertical. Okay. So I think that Bosco tried to get into a position to stop this hatch from being thermited open. And for that, he needed to throw a... Uh, he needed to throw an impact to hit right here through the floor. However... Neptunes was aware of that and decide and they they're now applying vertical pressure to stop that. So I do like that. Now Bosco is down five before. The Bosco, you saw how important Bosco was in the last clutch attempt as well. So that is going to be got a play off the board. Yeah, Neptunes has been really been fragging out, and you're right. Uh, he does get slept on. He's one of those players that I think that doesn't necessarily get the same respect he deserves. Or he tends to play a bit more support too, usually. Uh, he hasn't been this game. Like, he's usually on, like, Habana and things like he's that. He's a versatile player, I would say. Yeah. He's a versatile player. So, right now, playing on IQ is, in in a sense, 
uh, support uh, operator kind of. I guess, yeah, depending on I'm not sure why super nice repelled in there. Half, it's like Habana, right? As soon as yeah. you use your gadgetry for what you need to do, you cease. Maybe he's support. kind of acting as a. Uh, maybe they want super to act instead of just a pure flank watcher to act act as a flanker instead, where he pushes from somewhere else, while the other team pushes, while the other side pushes with. The support of the EE one D. Being a fragger, this is a really great push from Thinking Aid. Well timed there. Neptune's goes down, but Neptune's off. Aggression as as from your gadgetry for what you need to do. You cease being support. So this is aggression from Thinking Aid. It's kind of smart aggression though, where he's not doing this every round, and he's not he's not trying to run out of this doorway. He's just looking for a pick. Being a fragger, this is uh I think this is really just it just comes down to bad positioning from neptunes because he doesn't really need to be here to protect from to protect the thermite he could just be playing back and just holding an angle on the doorway and i kind of wish he was doing that instead because he probably could have killed thinking nade as well and at which point it then becomes a 5v3 a really great push from thinking nade well time there neptunes goes thinking nade now gets back With neptunes off the board sonics has lost a lot of its bite yeah, good use of the deployable shield the vault over as well. You heard a lot of shots ringing off of it trying to catch him. Super, the EE1D not actually working out from there as he actually gets fired on while he's trying to take advantage of it. Sonics have control of office and top floor. Start pushing into jungle. Avian though hits a good fat though. Fall back. Definitely the right call to play it safe there, but especially when you have 40 seconds at this stage of the game they actually don't have control of office there is somebody from space station i think i just saw in office yes mm -hmm. indeed it's gonna be rampy he could at any moment rotate downstairs and uh catch the flank of his opponents so sonics are gonna have to figure out where they want to attack i think they're aware of this roamer and are thus going to start attacking in through the b bomb site probably the right call super on the flank watch waiting for the rotation there from rampy but there's so little time left that's what makes this really tricky if you're the sonics So it takes yeah, about it, it takes a little right? little over half, half, half the half round Havana, right? as as yeah. to yeah. open up the armory <laughs> wall. Being with ship. I don't think there's not even a band or a mute in place, so I really that is being not good. Really push, and in the end, that just kills there. them because they already don't have pushing power. So now they don't even have time to go down. for the push and with their no pushing power. Seconds at this stage of the game they actually don't have control of office there is somebody from space station i think i just and now 30 seconds left no armory rampy. control at any moment rotate downstairs and uh catch the flank of his opponents so sonics are gonna have to figure out where they want to attack i think they're aware of this roamer and are thus going to start attacking in through the b bomb site probably the right call super on the flank watch waiting for the rotation there from rampy but there's so little time left that's what makes this really tricky if you're the sonics thinking aid will peek out and get a second kill Let's see how Avian does. Probably the right call. Super on the flank watch, waiting for the rotation there from Rampy, but there's so little time left. That's what makes this really tricky if you're the Sonics. All right, so Avian thought that that thinking he was playing by the shield, thinking Nade went to bunker instead, got he has the kill there. No top, no uh, vertical pressure coming out from Sonics, and instead is coming from Space Station. Round is over. There's no way of going for a plant, and. Rampy, but there's so little time left. That's what makes this really tricky if you're the Sonics. Thinking Aid will peek out and get a second kill of the round. Rampy touched down super. Super was. I mean, it makes some sense when it comes to. Um, you need. To, I mean, really. Uh, I can't really say much because it's. Goss is looking at the ceiling, waiting for someone to come peek. When she needs to be planting, however, if she plants, they'll peak. If she if she peaks, then you can't. You're not planting, and you're gonna lose. Either way, it's not. Either way, the round's over. It really just comes down to the push didn't work because you Has couldn't hold the top floor anymore. Rampy, but he lost the fight. Chala, C4, and wow, it's just a sweep there for SSG. Really, that just came down to the. I, to me, this looks mainly like. The Sonics aren't comfortable on border, where they are struggling to kind of push, like they open up the armory wall and then they struggle to actually take armory. And from, I think that's really just it. They have a, 
they have a way of doing what they want to. Like they, I think they have an idea of what they want to do. They have issues with the execution. Advantage of Sonic's also taking a long. What is it? Two point five seconds or something like that. If you include the time. Okay, last attacking Sonic's round. Adjust, armory, armory square, defense. Do other things. Uh, spent a whole minute twenty trying to adjust. Yeah. And then they came back to the B bomb site, but they didn't take armory. So then they, they're dealing with vertical pressure and limited time and round over. So again, that, that continues to, to repeat the, the mantra. What's confusing is they, they struggle with half wall when armory is not the site. And then when it's the site, there's no one playing half wall, so they don't struggle with it. It's just, I don't know. It, it, it seems like it, it's just weird, to, especially given the operator bands. It seems like this could be right now a 4-1. Is I think what we're trying to get to. I don't know. Yeah. SSG setting up for the three-three tie to bring to bring us to a draw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's SSG, so we expect it to be a three-three. Yeah. But I mean, <coughs> but it could be a four-one. It could be because could be. those two armory defenses just just shouldn't have gone. Order so is, I think, even more yeah. stale than it was, was at this really point with the attacks. Because it's really just but take security, then take wherever you want, and you're good. Armory defense. This hasn't been successful yet. Yeah. Or space station. And some of that was down to, I think, to what we were saying about Wave Holtz was playing it also, the IQ to counter Chala's Echo, not to mention him getting down before on it because they know how he plays okay, it. So the, f the thing is that they have a way of getting rid of this bandit using the Zofia charges. But then with the Zofia charges, you don't need the lion. So I, I, I'm not seeing the exact use of the lion here. <laughs> now, it could just be a good to bring him thing, but it's also kind of a. There's probably someone better. And maybe it's the Capital Man that just killed them. Change up both but I don't know. Need to change up I really don't. For this to work, I think. It doesn't look like there's going to be half full pressure once again. Because they're not playing there. Alright, well. Uh, so, uh, hang on. What's the, what's the big deal? Why? So, you know, hang on. Because I, okay, I can understand not playing half full at all. Yeah, and a lot of teams don't play half wall, but why not play half wall when when it matters? When it no, well. So it one it is curious that nobody is playing the position. However, I think the reason nobody's playing it from space station is they're literally saying that yeah we they can we don't need to play there we don't need to hard hold there because it takes them so long to push anyways. And they have no way of actually covering anything that we don't have to worry about it. Because they don't have to worry about smokes coming out here and smoking this smoking this area. So now you have to run through a plant or just put someone here in order to try and contest that. I think it's really just that state space station can just say, okay, uh they're trying to go for a plant. Damn, if only we had an echo Joan to stop that or a smoke to stop that or we could swing because there's no smokes on board. Well, no, most. it matters in both situations. I mean the most. The most, sure. Why? <laughs> yeah. There's no C4 from below. The C4 is positioned underneath I guess archives the, for some reason. He's got the yokai playing half wall. It's true, it's true. And oh. now Bosco has rotated over, so maybe that's the whole strategy. Vertical destruction. Well, Dinky Nate has rotated over the fountain, so he's going to set up... Probably to flank later. I really there think no that this smoke echo option. combination is really strong. This just because it can, just because it can, for him so far. Uh, just because it can waste so much time. Yeah, he's also not playing inside small office this time. He's peeking a bit more around from the bomb with coverage from Rampy, who has now rotated to the half wall. Yeah. So this is looking a little bit better. Fifty seconds left though, so no one has died. So that really, oh, as I say there that, it there it goes. So this is the half. There is no reason a Jaeger should be able to just to just be able to play whack-a-mole and just pop up, kill your planter, and then go down. There's no reason for that. And it's just, I mean, it, I don't know what, what's going through Sonic's head right here, where they say, okay, we don't even have to really be pushing Armory. We can just walk into the door and plant, and they, they're not going to peek us. 
full pressure we needed to see from SSG every other time they went to Armory. That's twice they lost it because they didn't have that. Avian's going to frag back, but it's going to be an instant trade there from thinking. Now, Bosco was playing below, I believe. Really I'm not 100% sure, but I think he was. As well, and half wall pressure from Ram Super kind of in a late flank slash uh, flank watch position. Avian refrag from th by thinking it, I believe. And it doesn't seem like Sonics have any tools to deal with this. They're just waiting on angles, expecting Rampy to peek, and I'm sure he will. Yeah. But so this is. E okay. Coming out. Oh god. Okay. It doesn't seem like Sonics have any tools to. All right. Waiting for the peak. That makes me think that the Sonics were just so expectant of Space Station to play aggressively that the moment they don't, they're not sure about how to actually push. Because that's my only thought process with by with what I'm seeing here. Because there's no reason why, like, 23 seconds left, you're down a man, and you're holding an angle. And you're, you're just waiting for the peak, and that just doesn't just make sense leave. to me. That That's the thought process with how, okay, how are we going to take out this bunker position? Ah, oh, we don't got to worry about it. They're going to peak us. Yeah, they always going to peak us. On angles, expecting Rampy to peak, and I'm sure he will, but there's only 20 seconds left. Gets pinged. Good reaction where he gets pinged, so he shoots above, expecting Rampy to, to he... swing, to uh, stand up. Bolts and Rampy then decide, you know what? Let's just peek together. They peek together, out, down Neptunes, and down Ghost. Down there on the ghost just super. And then Super and manages to kill Chala by going for that late flank. And that's kind of the... I think that's a really strong suit about the late flank, where if the... If Chala was on the drone, which he probably was... And it's a free kill, and it's more about just positioning and timing than it is about actual overall ability to win a gunfight. But Side of archives. He has with that, no it's over. One versus three, up. no defuser. Out to frag, and it's going to be Fultz. And so get the last kill. A three-three. The there, 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 there it is. There it is. Well, the adjustments, though, for Fultz and Rampy are what made the difference. I just I mean, want to say that the Sonics don't look comfortable on this map. There's no other way for me to say this, because they're not a bad team by any any means. And, so I mean, it. they don't have the most amazing players in the world, but it's not like they have dumb players who, they're coming from, I mean, this is just, I, I don't understand what I'm seeing here. Maybe it's just, Space Station, their older VOD reviews, they played a lot more aggressive, and now with the with what they're doing, the Sonics aren't sure about how to react to it. That'd be my only guess. Guys, but be backing up from the half wall? I, I, I don't know. I really can't say much. Boy, it's, it's just... The main well, thing I can say is it's amazing that are... it's 3-3 right now, based off... Just based off of what the Sonics were doing. Because there's, there's no adaptation coming from them. Uh, from Sonics. Anyway, roughly the same lineup coming out from the I mean, Sonics. To, to Space Station for adjusting. Now Space Station. So Rampy is on Jackal. Not sure why exactly. We'll figure it out. Thinking Aid is on Gridlock. So already bringing smokes, which was more than what Sonics were doing, and then some traps. So let's see how they're used. Chal is on Thermite. Fultz is on IQ, and Bosco is on Zofia. And the IQ is needed because there's an Echo in play. But I'm just curious because with no no mute mute bandit or Cade, there's no reason to go with Thatcher, which could which would force Space Station to go with which would force Space Station to pick problem. a Thatcher in order to deal with that. So seriously, props to them for that. But uh, like I said earlier, this could be a four four one right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know why I said 4-1. I meant a 5-1. It would be funny if it was a 4-1 somehow. That'd be weird, yeah. And I actually want to go to the restroom, so I will be back in a minute.
and I'm back. Alright, so... Just about the exact same setup. Wait, is this an ar is this ventilation or armory? Some poor positioning. I think it's armory. For them for adjusting. However, those late adjustments, if they if that continues to be a problem, then you know where we're heading. Yep. Yep. Okay. It, no, this is okay. This is armory. But they want the ability to shoot from below, so they have some bolts up, which are almost exactly the same as space station, which is kind of the reason why I don't like this map, where when the exact same lineup comes out, when the exact same setup comes out and there's no real alterations to it, I kind of have issues. Well, I don't, not necessarily issues, more just I find it a little boring to watch at times. Bolts has now equaled the amount of vertical pressure the Sonics have brought out within about 30 seconds of their first attacking round. They set up the impact trick on the armory wall. A lot of teams do this. Well, I don't know if a lot of teams do it. It is a strategy. Now, I am curious about this soft wall. It's seen at times, and I like. I want to see what they what the Sonics do with it. Open up a little bit towards the bottom of that wall, so that you can impact trick anything that the defenders place on the single reinforced wall, and this causes kind of a kind of a kind of a lock. Yeah. So all of the stingers have been used now, and they're being used as a flank device, flank watch type deal. And that actually makes some sense because you you have to shoot them, and shooting makes noise, so. You know if someone's coming. So it does make sense. Now, I kind of wish that there was still one left for the push. Because I think that if you smoke an area, throw it down, that can be really strong at times. But it is what it is. On Bosco and that Zofia, then you do sacrifice. Ball gets opened by the Zofia. And now. Space Station is a little worried about attacking this because if they plant try and go for the thermite charge, it's going to be hard to uh, it's gonna be hard to actually protect the thermite from like a nitro cell or something. If you go for if you go as a thermite to try and open up that other the, the reinforced part, yeah. and you are exposed to small office angle, mm -hmm. so it's dangerous for sure. And usually you want to open up that other side, so it actually can work in your favor the way they have it set up in general from what you're talking about. So Rampy's in a really good spot. Uh, he actually could be in a better spot though. If he takes into uh, ventil or out of ventilation in server, then he can open up closer to the A bomb. Uh, talking about so Rampy's in a really good spot. Uh, he actually could be in a better spot though. If he takes into uh, ventil or out of ventilation in server. Then he can open up closer to the A bomb. I thought I saw a head there. I was just curious. Yeah, he's got the sh he's got the jackal. And wall gets open, but it takes two minutes to open. There, but he's not going to continue to uh, stay downstairs. Which is probably, I guess, for the best room because Mozzie is down just, there. Oh, I think that was a. Uh, but although he's still I think that was a Mozzie drum. Down there, he's just not pressuring into ventilation or yeah. servers anymore. Castle barricade tripping up the attack just a little bit here, but it'll get dispatched. Just twelve melees and it's gone. Bolt's taking his time with that. This is actually a really strong position for the Sonics, with the Echo and Smoke both being in play. Combined with Super with a Nitro Cell, if he can play below. Fast, but in the meantime, well, no one's actually paying attention. They're gonna try and take the plant down. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing: default plant spot not accessible because the gas canisters, and he's gonna extend those gas canisters because there's only 20 seconds left. Smoke is well aware that he just needs to deny this plant. Ghost is doing a great job of doing so, and there's also potentially yokai still in play. Avian by half hole is gonna just need to peek to deny this, and he will be successful in that endeavor. Okay, so Rampy kills Super. I have no idea where that came from. Bosco kills Neptunes. I have no his. Let's see, hold on, is Bosco the one playing? Yeah, so Bosco is on the window. He just needs to deny this plant. The sandwich window. And he kills Neptunes. Now, I'm not play. sure. Super is below, looking for a nitro cell. As he's looking for it, he gets killed by Rampy on the flank watch. Now, good call from Avian for killing Chala on the defuse. All right, now it's a 3v4. That's killed. All right, now this is the one difference now between the Sonics and Space Station. Where the Son the Space Station was able to keep their Echo Jonah alive. Station are on the push, and it, here goes Avian, a nice one from Fultz, leaving just Ghost and Goddess, but there's However, still time. They might be able to... 
to deny the plant. If an Echo Drone was still alive, Sonox would have won this. It just goes, he's gonna have to rush that just comes down to the Echo player. It, that's really all it is. Just the Echo player kill. couldn't keep the drones alive, oh, and devastating for Sonics. really, that's, that's kind of it, in all honesty. Wow, it should not now you can say, uh, I gets the from possibly it would have been better if Avian was. Well, okay, it's kind of so. It's kind of actually a lot of little things there, with kind of the biggest thing being the Echo Drones. But Avian gets the kill, but then two frags come out, and really the supers supers is uh, a little like not too like it is what it is. Rampy he has to risk being below and not being able to help his team if nobody actually comes, but he has to worry about uh. So it really is just, it's a gamble and it paid off for Rampy, where somebody did come, so he got a kill and was able to protect the bomb planter. However, Neptunes just exposed themselves to the window angle, and I think Neptunes' job was to stop this IQ from running up and gunning Castle, which turns it into a 2v4, and with no Echo Jones alive, it's, it's over. In all honesty, that was a decent hold from Sonics. It just fell apart at the end due to uh, really, I would say just Neptune, Neptune's getting gunned, and uh, and Goddess not being not having any drones. So had Avian been able to find that second kill and hold, yeah, Avian would have been able to get that plant done. Avian probably should have been a little bit more aggressive on the half wall, but hindsight's twenty twenty on that one, of course. Of course, and he's not the fast Jaeger three speed kind of. Yeah, he's playing castle. Yeah, so it's it's fair enough that he started to try and play it passive. All right, so a lot of players. Asshole has now been dropped for the dock. Uh, I think I'm not sure exactly the point of bringing the castle. It's kind of just a thing that te some teams will do. Maybe they want to waste the ten or so seconds with a castle barricade, or maybe they maybe the thought process was to keep this this window safe from the. I think the I think it was a castle. You know, what, let me go check on that. Another castle barricade. And now ten be. picks super. Yes. Okay. So this was castled, and due to that being castled, it um, uh, I think basically because it got opened and because Neptune's got gunned from there, the Sonics have said, okay, we it didn't work. Let's just take off the castle. No point in bringing him, and they switched. They switched Avian onto Echo, Goddess is now on Doc, and everyone else is the same. Frost, because someone was repelling Sandwich Window. Yeah. That was the they were just yeah. sitting there smacking the castle barricade for the longest time. Bosco was repelling Sandwich Window. Because he was denying that cross, he cut off Avian from support. Avian should have been aggressive because he was without support, but he didn't know because it wasn't communicated to him. So he played passive, yeah. which is the right call in that situation if you have someone to help you out, but you don't. You're the sole person to deny in that situation. All your other teammates are being pressured elsewhere. So to me, this uh, this is going to be a uh... being pressured. Sandwich is being pressured. Uh, you're even being. You're the sole person to deny in that situation. All your other teammates are being pressured elsewhere. Elsewhere, pardon me. The archives is being pressured. So why I'm confused is I see the circle here and I'm wondering why it's there and not over here. Archives is being pressured. Sandwich is being pressured. Uh, you're even anyway, it doesn't matter. Main hallway. Uh, so, just a really good collapse. so this is going to be a security hold. And this can work. It can also not work. You know, the two two things that can possibly happen basically it either is going to work and this defense will hold will win the entire round 
<coughs> Actually, no, three things. It this either everybody inside of here is gonna get gunned and it's gonna do almost nothing to actually help the Sonics win. It's either going to tremendously help the Sonics win if Space Station can't effectively clear it, or it's gonna do absolutely nothing if Space Station says let's clear office. So Space Station a vitality esque strategy there, and it worked out. I think one of the problems too is so when they reinforce the one wall, right? The wall that's closest to the door inside small office. What they're allowing is a potential plant uh, spot, right? Which is known. Everyone knows you kind now, of can plant. The biggest curiosity to me is why Goddess is the one on the dock. Just because I know she's not exactly... I, I mean, I, from what I've seen, she's not an amazing fragger. So why dock a fragging operator? I mean, that's literally what he is. Is who Goddess is running. Is a little curious, but we'll just have to wait and see. There and you smoke to deny and whatnot. But because they're depending on generally using smoke to deny that as opposed to the shotgun trying to come around the corner because it's going to be covered, is then you really depend on the And I like this. So angle the wall is actually soft on the right side, side opposite of what run of it was last time with a pixel so peak shield job and a Jaeger. Yeah, because they've been putting up the shield on the cross, I mean, it's been... There was a Jaeger. You know, it was just destroyed. Oh, pixel there. Yeah. Are you going to be holding this pixel? Use the shield. Don't use the, uh, don't stand up, just keep crouching, because by standing up, you're making your head a bigger target. I don't know why I said Neptunes, I meant Goddess. Just Neptunes is playing inside a CCTV. I, yeah, I, I mean, he, he definitely does deserve some credit for the work he's been doing so far. But yeah, um, playing inside a CCTV, and Goddess is there to support Neptunes. This is definitely an, a difficult take. So this is actually a pretty decent hold of the security because the with goddess being able to hold the pixel peak space station is worried about pushing up the west balcony and because of that they're going to have to try and enter through the uh doorway however that's a that's kind of a hard fight to win because there's a crossfire going on between the mozzie and the jaeger take for space station the way that this is set up right now that pixel angle is not an easy challenge for anybody Goddess will have the advantage on anyone who decides to challenge her. I think Nate hoping to get a freebie in CCTV, but I don't think they're going to give it to him. But this is a little bit slowed down by how Got slow some missed shots from CCTV Goddess and... A missed shot there from Goddess and a missed opportunity. Yeah, Good really, I... The lifeline, though, seemed to... Yeah, just some missed shots there. Uh, so if she hit that shot, that would have been really big, I think, for a space so station. Okay. Just because with the man disadvantage, it would have been a pain. Is, yeah, just oh, it was just with the man disadvantage, it would have been a pain for a space station. I want to see how Neptune's gets Got killed here. So Foltz is repelling. Seemed to have been absorbed by an ADX. So some utility burn. Half of the round to try and clear CC. So upside down repel. Uh, oh. God, what the hell? I'm trying to figure out where the hell this guy is. Ah. Uh. Okay, I think I know where he is. And clear CCTV. Fultz will take down Neptune's though. That's the player inside. But now this CCTV is playing. this is bad in my opinion because. Not necessarily yeah. Neptune's getting killed so, there, some utility burn. but After by the, the fact round, that he got killed from somebody who should be countered, because the wall is soft, he sh Fultz should be scared that somebody is going to peek that. And I'm actually see. So that's the player. So Fultz should be scared that somebody's going to peek this angle right here in the wall. And the thing is, an angle exists from where he is and where he gunned Neptune's down. And that's just something that the Sonic should be able to capitalize on, but which no one does. And I think, really, I'd say this is the kill that kind of... Uh, actually, I can't say too much, but... Really, this Fultz is just, he doesn't care. He just does not care. He's saying, yeah, no one's going to peek me. We're good.
They're good. They're scared. They're not gonna take this fight. We'll take down. We have to pay attention to it. Neptunes, though, that's the player inside. Really, that's just CCTV not playing the bomb site to the best of your playing, not playing your strategy to the best of your utility. Looks like they're gonna take advantage of that deployable shield, though, rather than playing just aggressive. This is kind of the. Actually... This is kind of one of the. This is kind of some an issue with which some players have, where it's you get a job to do, and you can do that job sure, but it's but once the uh, but you can only do that job. And you can't really accept. You can't really deviate from that. Where it's it's where if Goddess had read in that they're not going to contest the pixel peak, and instead would be going to repel, then she could have been peaking that repel, not worrying about the pixel, and getting the kill there. But instead, her thought process was kind of just, I must protect this pixel, and that's not necessarily the wrong thing to do. But it's also kind of one of those. It's well, yes, you did your job technically, but you could have done it better. Actually, using the deployable shield as well to just continue to peek it. Yeah, I mean they don't necessarily need to come off of the angle. Lots of time wasted here. And I don't understand uh, why she get, came off the pixel peak. That's a very strong position. Neptunes, is that they've lost one of their star players. Um, and even if she comes off of the pixel, she... Oh, no. So, Bunker, already more vertical pressure coming out from Space Station than... I mean, yeah, it's just more vertical pressure, so... Goddess is forced to move, not that she wanted to, I think. From Gridlock. True, true. Exothermic charge goes off... Somewhere. Somewhere. Was nice to tech there. Maybe some damage that could be done from below thanks to the jackal. And it will be. Mozzie, playing by half wall, spotted out and forced off. Space station one. A huge um, part of their okay, well, I want to just say, I want to say good play from Super there. Not necessarily for the half wall or the the bunker, but for getting out of uh sec out of security without dying. Because he realized that with Neptune's dead, he could no longer hold inside of there effectively. And instead of turning into a 3v5, he says, he says okay, we've wasted time, I'll get out. So I just want to say I was good on him for recognizing he needs to move. Ghost of Smoke dies, I don't know how. But with that... Somehow Super manages to get his way into Bunker. And switches positions with the god with goddess. Maybe some damage like that is below. how he managed to do that. I don't know. Now he does get droned, and vertical pressure comes out on, from that from this from space station, unlike what Sonics was doing. And it will be Mozzie playing by half wall, spotted out and forced off. Space station have lost a huge part of their cross. Super then gets away. It's gonna be or rather, excuse me, Sonics have lost a huge part of their cross. Then kind of a bad peek from Ghost. Gets inside. killed Moscow because of it. It's a rotation from Super. Super then, Super then <laughs> says, "Fuck you! I'm going back to my spot." <laughs> like, the, oh god, this is. I want to see whether or not Jackal kills him. Oh no. Okay. 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 So Rampy goes away. Super gets a refrag, and then I think that the space station has managed to clear out Bunker about three times now. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that Super is just going back in there just over and over again. And I think he got shot in the feet. Yeah, he got shot in the feet there, and I think he thinks that he's getting shot from below, so he has to move. Loses the gunfight, but I mean, in all honesty, he... Uh, I mean, he was going to die, and his job was just a waste of time. But this is... He is he's really just been wasting time, and he's actually been doing a pretty good job of that. Because he's consistently been going back into the bunker area. And yes, he's probably going to die, but he got a kill. He also was just able to consistently stop the plant from coming out. That it... I really think... I think that it's actually, like, really good of that play there just because it wastes so much time where it's like okay is bunker clear yes uh 
is like bunker clear yes okay so then drones come out again okay let me just click check bunker uh yeah yeah mozzie's there okay okay yo jack will go below again okay okay it's clear okay guys get ready for the push get ready for the push ah oh, fuck he's back in there okay okay jackal can you go below again yeah yeah sure it's it's only the fourth time this round but it's as it's actually makes it strangely winnable for the sonics because even though super does die there it turns into around the more of a 2v3 than a 2v4 because with with rampy being forced to play below it could take him slightly too long to get back to site that it can um he'll be refragged it can cause an oversight for a space station. Goddess then kills Bosco. Did somebody go? Yes, back, back we go. Okay, so Goddess then moved into. Goddess then moved into the bunker area. By faults. So a little time here from space station once again on this armory take, and it looks like Goddess is gonna try and. So she just peeks. Smokes come out. Kind of fucks with uh. Kind of fucks with Space Station a little bit. And Goddess, I mean, really, she gets killed by Rampy because Echo's trying to do Echo stuff. One more for her, but Rampy finally shuts her down, and there's another and Rampy Rampy. kills One Avian because, uh, Avian God. Space Station, another last second attack. That is... Armory working out no, no, that was just not a... <laughs> these, these Echo drones, twice, for two rounds, the Sonics could have won these if they had Definitely just if their echo player had been able to use the drones effectively the because they weren't able to use them effectively it, that's what ki that's what's been losing them rounds it could very easily be a 5e3 right now I'm just the timing is there well i say losing rounds it's kind of the big thing i'm seeing well not really the big thing but it's, it's kind of the main thing where you're bringing an echo to do echo things if echo cannot do echo things then do not bring echo from SSG, despite how you know low time. Yeah. I just like skipping the sixth pick stuff just because it becomes a bit of a headache. Anyway, the Sonics. Mozzie again makes sense. Um. Okay, so Mozzie alibi. I don't understand this alibi pick. I really don't. I don't understand. Maybe they're just saying, "Yo, Neptune's just you want impacts, yeah, you want a sh you want a pistol shotty." Oh, I love those. Okay, well, holy shit, do I got an operator for you? But really, I can't tell you why they're going alibi. Maybe they think they can just throw some down, waste a little bit of time. I don't know. I really don't. I think a lesion could be better. I think just about everyone, anyone could be better. But I mean, really, you bring her for her gun, not her utility. Then Ghost is on smoke. It's kind of the hard smoke Zofia main of the Sonics. Um, Avian is on Valkyrie. Goddess on Cade, and I like the Cade pick because Space Station ha doesn't run a Thatcher or a. They're not running any way of getting rid of the Cade, so I like how that's coming out. Then Space Station. Boss goes on Ash because they're literally saying, yo, just go frag. We, we don't need we don't need the I remember I think Zofia. We don't even need a Zofia. Just go just go shoot him. And then everyone else is the same, I think. Yeah, that's true. Uh so many soft destruction operators that you need. And alibi has become purely situational now. As well as prefer preferential, I suppose. Like if you if you want to bring an alibi. Yeah, it seemed mostly strong for Clubhouse. But uh, there's some places where where she's good, but really, again, it just comes down to what you're comfortable with. The prismas aren't very useful. It, they are s mostly just for like windows. Uh, win well, windows. I mean, like that, for example, he has that one set to make people think he's peeking. But sometimes, sometimes the prismas can be somewhat useful, but they're not not great useful. No. The reason you bring alibi is because she's a three speed. She's got a secondary shotgun and uh, a decent gun. Decent gun. You know, like I said, three speed. You know, yeah. Impacts. Very useful. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah she's got a really good hit apart from her actual utility. <laughs> well, thank thankfully for that, right? 
yeah, that just makes her viable. Um, but again, yeah, Mozzie kind of fills a little, a few of those gaps, and there's less reason to bring her. As well as he's a better information operator outright. Yeah. Like what truly is, what is the gadget idea behind Alibi? Well, information. But Mozzie's just a better info. So just a little note here. You see Bosco's running Ash, and he's using the uh, G36C, not the R4C. And that just comes down to, on attack, a lot of people prefer ACOGs. I mean, really, some people just prefer ACOGs over hollows, and it's just personal preference. With the R4C losing the ACOG, the a people who play Ash have kind of switched over to the G36C, at least some people have, and it's just come down, it just comes down to the, like, yes, it's technically worse damage-wise, however, it, a lot of people have realized, huh, if I shoot him in the face, they die. Wow. I wonder if this works for my pistol. Yo, yo, Rampy, come here for a second. Info op. Yeah, he's one of the best info ops right now. Well, maybe they'll maybe they'll do some things in the future to, to increase the value of the Prismas by making them a little more deceptive. Now, an say, office push coming out from Space Station. So, I don't know. I could, I could see some ways well, to no. make them a They've little taken more security. Deceptive. Who knows? And now, it looks like they're taking yeah. office. Now, it'll be cool, though. <laughs> now, Space Station. <sighs> Again, slow on attack. They've got control of CCTV. They are going to start opening up some angles. Be cool though. <laughs> now, Space Station. <sighs> Again, slow on attack. They've got control of CCTV. They are okay. going to start opening okay. up some angles from. I was the looking at the Ash because she used her. Pre she had her gadget out. I was. I was hoping for the love of God she wasn't using them to shoot open and the they door. Later, take control of office, which they see as a hot spot for the Sonics. C4 goes. Um, that's a kind of a pixel nitro cell, where you can throw it. It'll land on the doorway, and if anyone's holding an angle in the doorway, they get killed. Can't remember who actually created that, but they did. Who gets punished by Cooper then gets killed on the roam. I'm not sure if they. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so. Okay, so. Sonics had no idea that Space Station was inside of security. And due to that, Super just runs and gets gunned. He gets punished by Bosco inside of CC. That makes the angle that have been opened up there. Alibi known to be inside of archives and an almost cut off there from Bosco, but he was in the middle of a reload. It's ironic for having a Mozzie, the droning's coming out really well. Yeah, the droning from Space Station has been pretty thorough, and it's forcing the Sonics to fall all the way back to site right now. Neptune's the last to rotate, but all four find themselves back on the main floor, and one of them on the floor itself. Both kills Avian, Avian. I think he was above. And it's forcing the Sonics to fall all the way back to site right now. Well, Avian is below. The last to rotate, but all four find themselves back on the main floor, and one of them. He has faults. Yep. Okay. So Avian exposes himself to Fultz, who's holding an angle from Customs. On the Fultz gets killed. As Avian goes down to Fultz, who is cut off rotation by Customs, and it's a highway. I don't know if he's holding an angle. That's a really good cut off there, and Sonics are already feeling. Basically, the, the roam game does not work. Left, and uh, Space Station are going to use every second to try and apply pressure from above. Limited soft destruction, sure, but two shotgun secondaries, and well, possibly some exothermic charges left that the Space Station gaming can use. Yeah, definitely a good position to be in. They also seem to be a bit more coordinated, and that's part of why they've been... So really, the Sonics here tried to go for a roaming setup rather than hard-holding above, yeah, and I think that just killed them. It, where it yet, it just all fell apart when Super got gunned from the angle, really the and that's really it. If they can just do some additional droning, if they haven't lost all those drones yet. Fultz waiting for a cross. Just trying to cut off between A and B. Child is going to get Goddess in the bathroom. And there you go, Fultz. Nice push onto the door. Exothermic charge coming out. Yeah, the attack. We were a little critical of the Sonics tried to play a... Uh, the Sonics tried to play a defense that didn't work in the end. But he's and that's all it is. Sense. Oh, he had a really bad uh, beginning on defense with yeah. that smoke. Oh, yeah. He was playing in small office, but he adjusted his play of smoke. Shifted it to instead actually, you know, his pacing was better. He delayed them, 
So no defenses have worked for the Sonics. The match point now. Goddess is back on Echo. Avian is on Doc. Super is... Okay. So I kind of like this. So Super was on Mozzie, who's a good operator. However, I think they... I think he's basically saying, okay, we tried for this Nitro Cell thing. It didn't work. So I'm not going to try it anymore. I'm going to switch operators to Bandit and because they're not running Thatcher. So I do like that. Then Avian and Goddess switch roles. Avian's on Doc. Goddess is on the Echo. And then Bosco switched from Ash onto Sledge. And for the first time, grenades are being brought. Um, it's a video game. Oh, yeah. See, I was thinking it was real this whole time. Well, maybe that's because it's really hot here. That's true. It's really, really hot here. If someone shot the fan here, I'd be pretty mad. Now, for those of you who have been wondering, why are they wearing just button-up shirts with their, you know, sleeves rolled up? It's very hot. We're still forward. sweating in these. Yeah, I <laughs> Anyway, uh, Space Station, uh, trying to take control of East Stairs. They already have CCTV. Those are two really good key points for your take. It's going to allow you to really take wherever you want. Office take is an option if you want to shift over to an archives push, or you can just hit into that armory wall. You've got the thermite, you've got the exos. Don't have a Thatcher being brought here from space station, so if there's bandit batteries on the armory wall, which there very likely are, then that take will be a little bit more difficult. This aggressive push here from Goddess uh, could net her a kill. This is bad aggression from Goddess. She has no reason to take this fight. Both these players have no idea how I mean, that, that's yeah. really all I can say. Yeah, There's no, no reason sure. to take this yeah. fight. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I keep it's not going one spot. of the... Uh, I, I really just dislike taking this fight because it one bullet accidentally through the head kills her. And then Echo's useless. Echo. Nice and there are two rounds which the Sonics could have won if their Echo had managed to use the Echo Jones effectively. It's always funny how the footprints kind of just hover in the air. Also, one other thing to note is this is kind of why I question everyone insta-banning Echo in Ranked now. Because even at a pro level play, it is hard to use Echo's utility effectively. So never think that you have to just insta-ban Echo and Mira every single round. Ban what is... Ban what will help you win. And I don't mean that you're starting on attack, so ban Mira. I mean, well... I know how to play Mira, but I don't want to deal with having to bring, like I, isn't it? I, so saying I want, I like playing Mira or I know how to play Mira effectively, but I don't know how to effectively open up hatches with Maverick. So I'm going to instead ban Cade. Something like that. Right or saying on, saying on a clubhouse. Well, I can if I can effectively open the walls with Maverick to stop the bandit trick. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. We can ban Thatcher then, or I, we can effectively stop the bandit trick with Thatcher and Capital. So let's ban the Maverick, and something like that. We will be able to detect what are believed to be the bandit, forcing them further back into the site. Yes, indeed, it is. Big Nade trying to hold on to the ninety rotation there. Solid position to hold. As well as an angle all I believe I think that's into office. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. It's just to hold the flank. Okay. Biggie Nade's just holding the flank. That's his job. He's doing his job well. That's what that's what good luck does. Yep. Well, I mean, okay, Space Station has a lot of control and very early on at that. They don't need to do anything right now other than start prodding. I have inside. no idea how that managed to <laughs> But I think this is a terrible waste of these two nades. I mean like, I've been asking for nades, yes, but <laughs> please don't use them to destroy a shield. Please use them for something else. That's, nope. that's unfortunate. That shield is gonna stay. Yep. And uh, he also got one of his teammates drones, so unfortunate. Yeah, Bosco not having the best time with those grenades. And not right this second. At least the battery's gone on the shield, if that matters somehow. It doesn't, but yes, it is. Doesn't. The battery's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Something worth noting. Uh, Bosco is going to get on his sandwich repel, as he has been doing every time they attack onto armory. 
cutting off the rotation very effectively. Chala going for the plant. The gas canisters delaying, but this time there's enough time for well, Space Station to take their bad peak. Kavian will shut down boss. Good refrag. Uh, I mean, peeking the windows is incredibly hard because you don't know are they are they above, are they below, are they upside down, are they on the right side, left side, are they uh, are they middle? It's it's one of those. It's literally you just peek and you hope for the best. There is no other way to describe it. And it's what happened there was super baited himself and Abian then got the refrag. So that's good teamwork there. And it's a one so for one refrag. One, one for one trade. That's going to give Abian and the rest of his team the freedom to peek onto this attempt. Pulse and kills thinking nade. To plant. Pulse, who has been having a and Rampy is below with Chala and Fultz both being very, very lit. So, one thing is the Sonics lose this, so how they lose this when it's in all honesty a 4v2 in this situation, right I don't know. And he's on low HP I can't remember. Well, so it's getting even worse. Chala... Fultz kills Avian as the plant's going down. Fultz then kills Ghost as Ghost is trying to get the frag onto the planter. Oh, he's back into it. And he's got two to boot. Rampy with the cutoff rotation on the main hallway will do no more work after Neptune shuts him down. This is a potential easy retake actually for Neptune's two very lit opponents who have fallen very far back into CCTV. Well, on repel, and that's going to be no information for Neptune's. Final... Okay. There were two mis two big mistakes in my opinion from Sonics that led to the them losing this round, the losing this game. The first one was Lion. The second one was Echo. Lion, in my opinion, did absolutely nothing for them and was a wasted attack was a wasted attacker that could have been used for somebody with pushing power who could help the plant go down. Because if they had used that, there's a good chance they could have won more than three of the attacking rounds. Then on the defense, the Echo did nothing. I mean, it, it, he did nothing as well. And they kept on bringing him out, kept on, it kept on failing, and it just, that's it, it just failed. So, if they had, if they instead of trying to rely on the Echo had used other operators, I think there was a chance they could have won. I mean, really, I think that if they had gone back on the attacking side with, instead of a lion with someone else, and instead of an Echo and someone else, there's a good chance the Sonics could have won this won this game. But in, to me, it just looked like the Sonics were expecting more aggression and more peaks from Space Station. They didn't get that, and so they lost the pushing power on attack. And they were expecting the Echo to effectively be able to stop the... Uh, to effectively stop the plant, and it never came down. So... Yeah, that's all I can really say. That's what that's the main thing I'm getting from this. But anyway, I hope this helps and hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just let me know.